the murmur of mitral stenosis ms corresponds to which of the following in the ecg they're asking which place of the ecg is going to fall under it's a tricky question because if you want to know the right answer it's going to be the eq segment if you look at the ventricular cardiac cycle and only the ventricular waveforms in the ecg it has to correspond to the tq segment or at least the tp segment because that is where your diastole is and you know the murmur of mitral stenosis is going to be typically a mid diastolic murmur with pre systolic accentuation and of course the diastole is going to be between s2 and s1 and that's going to be located in the tq segment or the tp segment so that's the most right answer i would say that's where the murmur is located but there is no option of tq segment or tp segment that is the reason why i say this is kind of a tricky question so if you want to choose the best among the four i would say it's the p wave because at least p wave is located in the tp segment that's tq segment right so but ideally speaking like following the p wave you are going to get only that pre systolic accentuation because of atrial contraction but like i don't have any other option i have to go for the p wave as the right answer for this question and what about the other options qrs complex definitely not because qrs is going to coincide with the early part of the ventricular systole that is the rapid ejection phase and the t wave and the st segment is going to lie on top of your ventricular systole because ms is a diastolic murmur i cannot go for other options at all it's going to be p wave 